Hi everybody, it's Marcus, middle of June 2018, happy Friday talk. Welcome, hope you're doing wonderful. I'm doing pretty good this week. Um, I had, a, you know, had to revisit a dark place last week and uh, it was a tough passage, but it was very healthy, um, which I think in my case, when I do have to go down these darker alleys, it, it reminds me of my old programming and also existing programming. And that, you know, it's a great reminder in my case to stay present, stay conscious, stay aware. And as much as I can stay in this present moment, which ego and mind, which is almost uh, exactly the same thing, wants to pull us back into what you can refer to as the pain body. And once the pain body is engaged, it can be very tricky to, to get past it because your thinking reinforces itself. What you're feeling and what you're thinking start keeps bouncing back and forth between feeling and thought. And it's so easy and it's almost tempting to be stuck in that, that cycle. Um, particularly because it's such a deep part of our programming, usually from childhood, usually from when we were small. And so in, in my case, it was great to be reminded, this is my old programming coming, you know, popping its head up back up um, just to see, you know, what's going on. And, it, and for me, it's, a, it's healthy to do that because I get reminded of the importance of staying present and conscious through every day as much as I can. And we do get sucked into unconsciousness on different levels all the time. We get sucked into fear, judgment, negativity, anger, sadness, whatever it may be. We usually get sucked into it and it's very tricky to get come back unless <clears throat> we stay present and conscious through meditation and other spiritual practices. So you can get a reminder. You can have a gong on your phone or you can look out at nature and, and be reminded, that, oh yeah. I'm here and now. And that's the only place where I truly am. Because the future doesn't exist and the past doesn't exist. The only thing that exists that we can be aware of is this present moment, right now, right here. And our ego, our mind, are, you know, they're tricky. They believe that <clears throat> the belief system can be, I'll be happier when, at some point in the future, when something happens that I think is going to make me happy then. Or reverse, I was happier then, back in the days when I was doing this or that. And none of them are real. The only real moment we have is here and now. And when we wake up to that fact, I feel it's wake up and smell the roses. That's what it feels like. Wake up and realize, wow, I am here and now. I am the expression of life itself here and now. And we all are. We are all expressions of life itself every single moment. So take that in. Chew on that for a little bit. Come back into you, stay present and conscious. And don't listen too much to this thing, because <laughs> this thing gets us in trouble. I'd like to say thank you, lots of love. Let the light shine. Let your light shine. And I will see you. Bye.